Hi, this is Pam and Chalbert from Two Bikes for Adventure. When we experience a roadside mechanical problem while touring with our Bromptons, having the right tools can make the difference between a minor delay and a major change of plan. And even without an emergency, we need to be able to maintain our bikes day to day and possibly reassemble them if we've packed them in a suitcase. In this video, we compare some multi-tool solutions suitable for traveling with Bromptons. The evolution of the bicycle multi-tool follows the technology used in bicycle manufacturing. In the 1980s and 90s, when bikes were mostly assembled with hex nuts and bolts, multi-tools included wrenches or sockets in addition to conventional screwdriver bits and tire levers. One of the first widely popular multi-tools was the Cool Tool, patented in 1994. With its adjustable wrench, chain tool, allen keys and sockets, it was well adapted to repair bicycles of that century. Nowadays, most modern bicycles have hex and torx head fasteners. Commonly available multi-tools followed the trend and now consist primarily of a set of hex keys, possibly supplemented with features like a chain breaker, spoke wrench and tire levers. Designed for regular road, mountain or gravel bicycles, they rarely provide the necessary wrenches required to remove the old-fashioned nuts and bolts still found on Brompton bikes. In addition to the 15mm axle nuts, Brompton bicycles use 8 and 10mm nuts, plus hex heads from 2 to 8mm, as well as a few Phillips and Posey drive screws. Our ideal multi-tool has to support all these fasteners, plus include a chain breaker, spoke wrench and tire levers, preferably in a light, compact and self-contained package. We'll compare three popular multi-tools to see which is closest to that ideal. The first obvious option is the Brompton Toolkit. Released in 2012, it's designed to fit in the front tube of the long wheelbased Mark IV Brompton. It won't fit in older, short wheelbase Bromptons, the pre-2005 models. With a rubber-coated magnetized tip at one end and a rubber wedge shape at the other, it stays in place when the bike is folded and doesn't rattle while in motion. It contains the all-important 15mm wrench for the front and rear axle nuts. Note that we leave the wrench in the assembly when removing particularly difficult nuts for a more comfortable grip and better leverage. The opposite end of the wrench doubles as a reversible ratchet. The ratchet makes performing most mechanical adjustments a lot easier than a conventional folding type multi-tool. The Brompton tool comes with four double-ended quarter-inch bits, two and six millimeter keys, 2.5 and five millimeter keys, three and four millimeter keys, and a size five flat head and size two posy drive head. We have to point out Brompton's choice of the posy drive bit instead of a standard Phillips bit. They look similar, but there's a subtle difference and they're not interchangeable. A close look shows that the posy drive has a blunt tip and small ribs at 45 degrees to the main slots. The PZ marking on the bit also gives it away. Corresponding posy drive screws have recognizable small tick marks set at 45 degrees from the main cross, as can be seen on the Brompton front carrier block latch or the rear triangular latch. It's important to know that a posy drive bit does not fit well in a Phillips screw, such as on the pedal reflector. If you're using the Brompton posy drive bit on a Phillips screw, be careful not to apply too much torque as it may damage the screw. The toolkit also includes two tire levers that double as 8mm and 10mm box end wrenches. A small magnet joins them together to prevent rattling. In the early version of the toolkit, these levers were made of a composite plastic metal assembly, most likely to prevent damaging the tire or tube. But after reports of premature failure, they were replaced with a full metal version. All new Brompton toolkits come with a metal version. Tube patches and sandpaper complete the kit. The entire assembly weighs 190 grams and costs about $90 US. The advantages of the Brompton toolkit are as follows. Having the tool handy all the time in the bike frame is a huge benefit. The reversible ratchet tool is ergonomic and user-friendly, superior to a comparable compact folding multi-tool. Because it was specifically designed for the Brompton, it's compatible with most of its screws and bolts and doesn't waste space or weight on unnecessary features. 
The overall design is just impressive. Its disadvantages are the dual end bit arrangement makes them particularly short when inserted in the ratchet, as compared with the regular bit. This means that the tool may not reach some recessed areas of the bike. Here are some examples. With the seat position on the pentaclip lower rail, some saddles may interfere with the tool, making it difficult to insert the 5mm key in the adjustment bolt. It's also impossible to access the front carrier block bolts. Similar ratchet-based multi-tools, like the Topeak Rocket, solve this issue by including a magnetized bit extender. Using box-end wrenches limits the range of options where they can be used. For example, the 15mm wrench cannot be used to remove the right pedal. The 10mm wrench cannot access the rear brake pinch bolt on a Brompton equipped with a rack. It's difficult to adjust the cable anchorage pinch nut with the 8mm wrench. The tool also doesn't include a spoke wrench nor a chain breaker. And finally, it's expensive compared to other options. Our suggestions for upgrades for the Brompton Toolkit version 2.0? Are you listening, Brompton? A dual-ended bit compatible extender. The challenge would be to figure out how to store it in the limited free space in the toolkit. Modify the 10mm key bottom hook to convert it to a simple 3.2mm spoke wrench. And include an 8mm key for the left pedal. We also have a turn tool. Made of coated steel, the slim package of the turn tool provides easy access to the key set. The space was optimized by embedding the smaller size keys at the base of the bigger ones. In addition to the usual keys, the set also includes a Torx T25, of no use for Bromptons, but possibly handy for other bikes you may own, for instance any with disc brakes. The top of the assembly consists of a solid chain breaker tool. Gilbert can vouch for its functionality, as he's used it when installing new chains on our Bromptons. Two keys complete the tool. As with the Brompton Toolkit, they also double as tire levers, but unlike the Brompton, they have an open wrench configuration. The 15mm wrench can be attached on the side of the main tool to provide extra leverage when removing difficult nuts. This leverage is particularly important when extra torque is required, for example when removing a pedal. Additionally, the lever can be used for 10mm nuts, 4mm spokes, and bonus as a bottle opener. This is also where the 8mm Allen key is located. The second lever includes a 6 and 8mm open wrench and two additional spoke adjustment notches, of which the 3.2mm notch is compa compatible with Brompton spokes. The embedded 5mm key is also used to activate the chain breaker tool. A tire patch kit is also included in the set. Note that the latest 2.0 version comes with an external strap to attach it under the saddle. The turn tool costs $40 and weighs 180 grams. The advantages of the turn tool are Crescent wrenches make them more versatile than the Brompton box end wrench option. The problems we mentioned with the Brompton wrenches are not an issue with the turn tool. It comes with a chain tool and various spoke wrenches. It's the only multi-tool we've found that contains all the most necessary features in one package. Because it was not designed for a specific bicycle type, it could be used on other bicycles you may own, thus reducing cost per use. The disadvantages of the turn tool are The location and length of the 5 and 8mm keys significantly reduce their usefulness. It can be challenging to use the 5mm key with a pentaclip or the rear brake assembly. The folding design makes it less ergonomic to use than a ratchet solution. It may be difficult to reach the target screw head with some of the smaller keys. If a Brompton or turn tool is too expensive or difficult to acquire, another option would be the Park Tool MTC30. Designed for fixie bikes, it's one of the very few conventional multi-tools that incorporates a 15mm wrench. Lighter and much cheaper than the two previous tools, it's also widely available. Furthermore, it incorporates an 8mm adapter hex key that can be used on Brompton left pedals, which the two previous tools cannot. 
The Park Tool MTC30 costs $27 and weighs 130 grams. Its advantages are, it's light, inexpensive, and easily available. It has a usable 8mm key that can be used to tighten the left pedal. All keys have sufficient reach. Like the turn tool, it can be practical for a variety of bicycles, not only the Brompton. Its disadvantages are, the combo flathead Phillips screwdriver is not optimum and may cause damage to a screw if too much torque is applied. It lacks a 2mm key that is needed for brake pad replacement and derailleur speed adjustments. It doesn't have a 10mm wrench for the brake pinch nut. Finally, it doesn't include a spoke wrench, tire levers, nor a chain tool. There are other options as well, of particular interest if you're on a tight budget and you already own a conventional compact bicycle multi-tool, such as the Topic 9 Mini. Bring the multi-tool along and supplement it with a stubby 15mm wrench, available for a few dollars in a local hardware store or online. To complete your emergency kit, add some tire levers and possibly a small key holder, like the Swiss Tech 14-in-1 multi-tool, for the rare cases when you need to tighten those 8 and 10mm nuts. It also incorporates spoke wrenches. A small 4 inch or 10 centimeter adjustable wrench could possibly replace the 15 millimeter wrench and the small key holder, but it would be at the limits of its capability with the 15 millimeter axle nuts and should probably be used in emergency situations only. If you prefer the convenience of mini ratchets like those in the Brompton Toolkit, various models are available, including the Topeak Rocket, which includes a chain tool and eight bits, all contained in a unique compact case. Topeak also has other options, including this 11-bit version that comes with a bit extender. All these mini ratchet kits come with tire levers and standard quarter-inch bits, which can be easily replaced or upgraded to your preference at a hardware store. If, on the other hand, money is no object and weight is the issue, the adjustable wrench can be substituted with a 42-gram titanium Leatherman Mako, which, in addition to the necessary box of spoke wrenches, can accommodate four additional bits and can be used as a screwdriver. In a pinch, this could serve as your only tool on short trips. This Mako tool is available on the second-hand market. Perhaps surprisingly, the original Cool tool, which can also be found on the second-hand market, or maybe in your father's toolbox, would still be a suitable tool for the Brompton. Maybe not so surprising after all, as both were designed decades ago. Finally, whatever solution you favor, Considering the cost of a Brompton, we strongly suggest to invest in good quality tools. They are less likely to damage your bike, and like your Brompton, should last you a lifetime. It's tough to beat the convenience of having the Brompton Toolkit always with you on day trips. However, for longer journeys, its deficiencies will be obvious. You would need to compensate by bringing additional tools, such as the Park Tool CT5 Chain Tool and the SW7 Spoke Wrench, which of course would increase the total weight of your luggage. In our overseas travels, we never bring our Brompton tool, favoring the turn tool instead. We supplement the turn's shortcomings, especially concerning the stubby 5mm key, by bringing a lightweight secondary tool, an Origin 8 Micro Toolbox. This Micro Multi-Tool has been discontinued, but is still available on eBay for less than $20. Its small form factor makes it ideal to use in hard to reach places, it can easily be kept in a pocket, handy to use at any time. There are many bicycle multi-tools on the market, but few contain everything that could ever be needed for anything that could go wrong on a Brompton. While we always hope to avoid technical difficulties on our trips, we want to be prepared to make repairs quickly and get back on the road. In an upcoming video, we'll discuss some do-it-yourself options to have all the tools you need in a convenient package at a small cost. In the meantime, we hope that you're able to successfully deal with any bike problems that may find you on your Brompton travels.